All right, Greg, we're in the pipe shop again, and what people, if you didn't know any better, you'd just say this is a bunch of flat stock of tin, right? But you yeah. know, but you're going to tell us what it actually, what they are. Well, this is a whole set of pipes, the bodies for pipes, all cut out from the metal that we cast. The pipe makers have chosen the right thickness and the right alloy for this particular set of pipes, which will be in the Harvard University organ. And this piece on the bottom is the longest pipe in the set. And then this piece here will be the shortest pipe in the set, five octaves up and from that. That's, that. Not, that's not much bigger or maybe even smaller than your thumb, but that is actually going to be a pipe. Right. They get rolled up like this. Here's a very small one that we've uh, rolled up around a steel mandrel, and then it's been soldered on the back seam. See, that, that's amazing to me that something that small is going to have an impact on an organ that's 10 feet wide or, or even oh, yeah. more. It, oh yeah, this is what it's all about. These little pipes, these little whistles are what make all the sound. And if you don't get this right, everything else that you do is for nothing. Yeah. It's got to sound right. So the, how, many, how many are in this stack right here? Would you know? Yeah, this would be 61 pipes in a set. So right here we're looking at what's going to end up being 61 pipes in a set for the Harvard, right. upcoming Harvard uh, uh, organ. organ. That's right. And here's another set here, and another set here, and another set here, and another set here. For the, for the, the for same Harvard. organ? Yep, all for Harvard. Unbelievable. Coming up. Let's see if we can get in that. Each one of these things is a pipe. That's going to take up a lot more mass when they're all rolled <laughs> than right. they are right now, right? <clears throat> that's right. All right, thanks, Greg. And then they get oh. joined up to their feet. Oh, the, oh yeah, that's right, because uh, it's so, not just one uh, straight shot. Right, those are the feet. That's footstock. And then this is the final one here. So these get made into this. And now this is where the air comes through? That's right. And this is what is, like... The whistle or... That's right. Right? Yep. Is that the right term? Yes. The uh, organ pipes work the same way a recorder works. Mm -hmm. The air comes out this sl slot in a flat sheet, and then it strikes the upper lip of the pipe once the body's on here. Um, it'll strike the upper lip of the pipe and wave in and out, and that creates a wave inside the pipe. And so the pitch of it is controlled by the length of that pipe, the wavelength, and that's the sound that you hear. So there's actually, the, each, uh, tube, each tube is made up of two pieces, the, the, foot, the foot and the body. And the body. Can we see two, pie two pieces put together? Sure. You need me? So here's a body that's been rolled up, and the mouth has already been creased in the back. A little tapered. Yep. And then these two pieces will get soldered together, and then this gets opened up for that lip that we were talking about. So the wind way will shoot the wind up toward that lip and make a sound. You know, it's also it's also simple. But everything has to be so precise. Yep. And <laughs> right? That's you know, right. It's amazing. Well, Greg, thanks thanks for everything. And uh, hopefully we can Joe. we uh, Pete, we got a big turnout on uh, Saturday the thirteenth. Oh, here. I expect a lot of people are gonna be here. Yeah, I'm sure. Thanks again.